And uh, we did want to oh, start yeah. with this notion of the booster uh, and, and whether we are embarking on, in your view, a period of what will be a long period of recurring uh, vaccine shots of this same vaccine in, in booster form, uh, as, as far as the eye can see. Well, I sure hope it's not the same vaccine because the same vaccine has less and less effectiveness as the virus continues to mutate. So while I got the, the third shot, and while I certainly encourage people to do so, unless we develop vaccines that are able to stay ahead of the mutation of this virus, we're going to be in very serious trouble. Can I just ask, and I know we're pretty deep into it for this kind of question, but I recently read more than half of the ATP tour, you know, the Professional Tennis Players Association, is not vaccinated. And I can't think of why, you know, wealthy, resourceful, well-educated people would not get the vaccine. Can you think of any credible reasons not to get this vaccine? Well, I, I, I think that people historically have uh, incorrectly balanced medical risks when it comes to their own health. And yes, there are certainly risks with this vaccine. Athletes particularly are, are afraid of myocarditis, but the risk of contracting COVID and dying from COVID far eclipses any risk with the vaccine. And, and having said all that, despite the fact that we think the vaccine could be successful, there, there is resistance and it is slow to deploy. Uh, NRX is working on treatments for COVID. Can you give us some context around your treatment uh, and whether or not that, you, that may well be the next leg of this? We're, we're hearing increasingly COVID-19 is here to stay in some form or other. Will we see more and more emphasis on the treatment aspect of this? Well, we have two programs underway. One is a treatment called Zysami, uh, a viptidyl acetate, that's under review by FDA for emergency use. And that's a treatment that hopefully will help people who are already in the ICU, who've already developed COVID, and who are struggling to survive. So there's no question that no matter how good the vaccines get, the virus is always going to be trying to stay ahead of us, and we need something for people who suffer breakthrough infections. But at the same time, we're working on a vaccine in partnership with the, the government of Israel, the Israel Institute of Biological Research, that specifically is targeting these COVID variants that are bypassing the first generation vaccines. The virus is mutating every day. And with each mutation, the vaccines that we all lined up for last year are less and less able to keep up. 